2,000 days in hardcore Minecraft. I didn't think we'd get this far. And today, I begin an absolutely massive project to create the most powerful XP farm that anyone else has. Why will this one be so fast? Well, normally, picking up XP is it's just too slow. But with this farm, you can gain hundreds of levels super fast. The first thing I need to do is go exploring. Exploring at a new distant land, where the goal is to go searching underwater to find caves that contain dripstone. And whilst in search of that, I've also accidentally found diamonds. Might as well mine them up. Okay, it was just one. And then it's back to collecting dripstone. Also, guys, over the last few months, I've spent over 500 hours in this world bringing you guys videos. So if you enjoy this series, it would help me out so much if you could subscribe. And whilst you're doing that, I'm gonna mine up these diamonds. Nice to find a bit more dripstone. And here we have even more. It's actually loads of it in the area. This might be all the dripstone I need. And with these final pieces of dripstone, I should have everything I need. All of these can be added to the chest. I can also harvest all of these cauldrons since they're all full now. That's topped up my lava supply, which is gonna be useful later. I got so many diamonds whilst looking for dripstone. So let's go ahead and burn all of that since diamonds are for peasants. And it looks like it's time to go to bed. What's that? There's there's something different on the wall. Yes, I now have a brand new poster for 2,000 days. The house is looking pretty cool, isn't it? If you'd like to get one of these posters for yourself, the link is at the top of the description. They are very limited edition. They sold out in 24 hours last time, so get them whilst you can. And I've also personally signed each and every one of them, which took absolutely forever. And whilst you guys are doing that, I've got a new plan. A plan which involves hoppers, pistons, and also observers. By the way, if you're wondering, the void base is going to be finished in the next episode. We've, we've got too much to do today. Next, my plan is to set up a really quick and simple dripstone farm. So the way this farm works is that water will randomly drip through the dripstone and cause it to grow and when it grows the pistons will all extend. I can't really show it to you until they actually grow. The reason I went out searching for dripstone instead of farming it though is because it takes about 100 minutes for each one to grow which is of course a long time but I can just leave these growing whilst I get on with other projects. And one of those projects is to collect a load of cactus and with that I think I've mined every single cactus in this entire desert. It's definitely an achievement but it's also kind of sad I feel like I've just endangered the plant species. Oh well they're all going to be put to a good use because in order to power this crazy XP farm we're going to need a crazy cactus farm. So now I'm going to grab absolutely loads of glass Right here, I'm going to build a massive water collection system. I've created the frame for this and I've just got to fill in all the gaps with glass. I've run out of glass and I think I really underestimated how much I'm actually going to need. But thankfully, I have got loads and loads of glass. Now let's get back to placing glass. And there we go. All the glass is now placed. I just want to mine out a block here and also... Okay, I've done that completely wrong. I meant to mine out that block and... You know, let me just start again. As I was saying, I want a block mined out there and there, and I want that in every single corner. And next, we begin adding water. So we're going to have some like that, and then it's also going to be along here, all in this row, although I've, I've kind of run out of water. Thankfully, we're by an ocean. And then we're going to place it like this. I can use infinite water sources. And there we go. Every single piece of water is in, and as you can see, it flows perfectly down to the middle. And I'm going to place a couple of blocks like this, and the cactuses are going to fall into these holes. I've also pretty much run out of glass, so I'm not only going to remove all the cactus from this desert, but all the sand as well. Also, people always ask me why I don't just make a sand duper. And the reason for that is that I don't really use duplication glitches in my world. Like if I'm going to dupe sand, why don't I just dupe neverite or something like that? You know what I mean? Already this super smelter has given me plenty of glass. And now I can finish off these drop shoots. There we go. They're all complete and they're going to keep going down underground. And there's a system here that will split everything four ways. I believe if I put water here, it should all flow perfectly and stop at the glass. Apart from the fact I did this one wrong because apparently I can't count. And now I've just got to build a few more holes. Well, this is awkward. I've, <laughs> I've put this in the wrong place. There we go. I fixed it and now it looks much better. Next, I need to build the first layer of the cactus farm because because we need way more cactuses to plant them all. Eventually, this farm is going to get me 40,000 cactus per hour, which is going to be a ridiculous amount of XP. Especially when you compare it with the 180,000 XP that the Guardian farm is going to be giving me per hour at the same time. Which all adds up to a pretty amazing XP farm. That'll definitely be enough sand for now. It's also going to take a load of fences and fence gates, which is why I'm going to mine up a ton of wood. Whilst I'm mining up all this wood, I'd actually like to test an idea that I came up with. First, I'm going to grab some gold. And I might as well repair all my items whilst I'm here. Then I'll craft a golden axe by mending, efficiency and I'm breaking and then I'll apply them all to the axe and because I never normally name my tools I'm going to name this one the fast chopper and if my calculations are correct with haste two from the beacons the wood should mine instantly let's see Oh, it doesn't really. I did all the calculations, but apparently it, it just mines at this speed and can't go any faster. But you know what? I'm still going to take an item frame and place it here to remind me of the failed experiment. I also definitely have enough wood now. Really? 
Really? I've still got no idea how creepers keep spawning down here. I, I need to add more lights. Anyway, let's forget about that for now and do some building. So right here is where we're going to build the base of this cactus farm. You can see I've marked out the areas. And so my job is to place a lot of slabs. Now the edge is done. Let's go and fill in the middle. There we go. The base is complete. And let's also add a border of bricks around the outside. And then I can begin placing all the sand ready for the cactuses. I'm also going to get absolutely loads of mobs spawning on this platform. So I'm going to go and activate the mob switch. And whilst I'm at my house, I'm also going to craft four temporary hoppers, which are going to be very useful. And the reason they're going to be useless because I'm going to place them all there and then if any blocks come down here I'll be able to recollect them just like that piece of glass that's floating away and now let's get back to placing sand perfect and now that they're all in we can start adding lots of gates and now that all these gates are in I need to mine all the stone slabs underneath because they need to be gaps and that is now perfectly done so all of the cactus will be able to fall down the holes now I'm going to craft a load of spruce fences and they're going to be placed along so that every time a cactus grows it's going to get broken but doing that and placing stuff every time I could maybe do something like that although I'm thinking it's still quite slow so I think the best thing to do is to actually build a roof above it for the next layer and as you can see once the roof's placed in it'll make placing all the fence posts much much easier after some serious time i have placed every single gate up here I've, I've basically yeah done quite a lot of this and i haven't even placed all those fences down there yet but having done that roof is now going to make placing these fences so so much faster and finally every fence is in i've just got one thing left to do actually that's not true i've got two things left to do first i've got to place all the water in okay not like that though we've got to do it like that and then i get the joy of placing down every single cactus and there we have it the layer is now officially complete and each layer gets about 800 to 900 cactus per hour which is quite a lot, but uh, definitely not enough. So the reason I wanted to build that first is because I'm just going to need so, so much cactus for the whole farm. And so that'll be collecting it up for me whilst I can do other stuff. Now let's go and take a look at how the dripstone farm is doing. And as you can see, we have absolutely... No, no, I'm guessing the dripstone doesn't grow even if it's in spawn chunks. Seems like I have to be in the local area for it to actually work. Another thing I'm going to need a lot of for this farm is powered rails. And to make powered rails, you need a lot of gold. So that means I'm going to spend quite a bit of time chilling at the gold farm. And from quite a short time, I've got so much gold. I've also realized that nether brick fences are going to be very useful for the cactus farm. And to make sure I get as many as I possibly can, I'm going to go ahead and fill a shulker box full of this. And then set it all off smelting at the super smelter. And as a temporary improvement to this machine, I'm just going to waterlog the rails and that way a lot more items will go into the hopper minecart and already we're getting loads and loads of nether bricks before i head back i just want to mine up a load more wood just look at all these bricks already so basically wherever you see a fence gate that can be a fence but if i do that you have to tower them up all the way to the top of the farm but i think long term this is definitely going to be much faster i've already run out of the fences and haven't really filled the whole area yet but i'm sure i'll have loads more bricks ready there's three stacks at the moment obviously these furnaces only work when i'm in the area so whilst i wait i'm going to gather up loads more of this i gathered up quite a lot which is going to be perfect for the project. Since I have them in my inventory, I'm also going to replace these with fences just to make life a bit easier. And the bartering farm also has a mega amount of these. And now all of these should definitely get me going for quite some time. And back to placing we go. Once again, I've run out of fences. 